All right, let's uh, let's kill some stormies. <laughs> Just gonna stroll right in behind them. They don't even hear me. <laughs> and the others didn't even hear either. <laughs> Imperial Astromech. A variety of Astromech droids, also known as Astro Droids, were utilized by the Galactic Empire to complement their vessels. Providing routine maintenance and mechanics, they served a variety of repair duties as well as advanced navigational operations, strategic logistics, and data computation. Good job. Just excellent stuff here. How cinematic. Oh, uh, man. Know any jokes, BD? I don't know. Why? <laughs> Classic. Classic. <laughs> That's such a good moment. I just, I love that Cal just speaks droid. Like, he, he doesn't even flinch. He just finds it. He's, he just has his best friend, and his best friend's a little droid. <laughs> Imagine having the finger strength to do this. With one glove on, nonetheless. Wow, those stormtroopers did absolutely no damage to this guy. The stormtrooper scared me. I didn't realize he was there. <sighs> we would have gotten him too if it weren't for those meddling imps. Alright. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird to respond to like something you would say thanks to, to with just the word grateful. Like not even I'm grateful, just grateful. It's kind of funny. It's like saying thank to someone. You get one thank. Let's do this cool set piece again. So, so far, we're making pretty good progress through the game. Um, there are only a few planets. I think there are six of them, maybe. Um, but a lot of the time in them is spent uh, going back and forth, trying to uh, unlock everything. And the fact that we just came here to do this once we had uh, the ability to kind of makes things a little bit easier for us. Oh god. Help. Hurry. I 
need one. I did not realize there were going to be that many right there. But we'll have to play actually safe. That's fine. Let's go. Sir, look out! I got it. We'll survive the clock. Don't let up. Get him! You don't scare me. Ice cold. I can control the character with one hand and the mouse with the other. Interesting. I wouldn't actually play like that, but it's kind of cool that it allows simultaneous input. That's actually a feature that a lot of games should support that don't, um, because it allows you to use things like my, my keyboard. I have a Wu-Ting, which is an analog keyboard. And if you support both in, in X input gamepad and mouse and keyboard at the same time, and even allow the player to do a, uh, you know, override on what the uh, the button mapping is, so that, for example, like instead of showing Xbox prompts, it shows just the keyboard prompts. That's sick. You should absolutely let people do that. That way, they can use these cool analog keyboards if they want to. You're gonna fight me? You don't, you don't have a chance. Alright, well we took care of them relatively easily this time. It only took us what? This is our third try? Not bad. I love the way Imperial bases look. They're so ominous. So kind of spooky and weird. Take that challenge, huh? You'll make him pay? Is that what's gonna happen? Gonna need to get through here. That helps. Alright. Uh, we will go down there in just a moment. Cause that's a shortcut to something or other. <laughs> oh, look at that. Excellent. Throw a grenade at me, fool. Oh, I have no, uh, I have no force. Dang it.
Purge Trooper Commander. Dangerous from a distance. Make attempts to close distance quickly. Avoid shock grenades or use it to strike nearby stormtroopers. Agents of the Inquisitorious Purge Troopers are charged by the Empire to hunt down survivors of the treasonous Jedi Order. Operating in the shadows, their clandestine mandate Mandite, mandate is largely unknown, even among Imperial ranks. As they support Inquisitors across the galaxy, this specialized class is trained and equipped with a variety of weapons and tactics, but primarily attack with blasters and shock grenades. Where are we? Okay, we can't grab that, so I guess we just gotta come out here now. Where is this? Wow. Alright. Is there any other... There is an unexplored path for us. Let's turn back real quick. So we don't want to leave this place without exploring everything because I would it would be like that unopened box in in RE4R it would physically hurt me okay so we can't go this way and nothing down there go through this door we cannot okay so there wasn't really a uh, a way for us to go it was just it was marked as unexplored because we weren't we hadn't gone in there gotcha okay that's better than the alternative i think there are a few more scomp links on the planet that we can navigate we'll get, we're gonna want to go back to bagano before we go to kashik because there's stuff on bagano we can now open with the scomp link and force push so we have a game plan moving forward, which is really exciting. That's the wreck of a uh, Republic cruiser, right? I guess we would now call them Star Destroyers, but those were like the, the clone general ships, basically. I don't remember the name of these. Uh, again, I think they're Venator class ships. You see the Star Destroyer? It's a Venator. There could be useful intel inside. I'll try to find a way to it. That's what I thought. Okay. Hell yeah. Villagers built this memorial to the clones on the Venator. If only they knew the truth. Look at that. My see, my lore brain is good. My my walnuts working overdrive right now. Empire isn't the only thing we have to worry about. This tunnel flooded suddenly. What could have caused such a thing? Something smells like old oil. Sorry, buddy, not you. It's just water. <laughs> All right. So this was one of the scomp links I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to investigate. Uh, so that's good. We don't need to go all the way back down now. So we called it, he called it a Star Destroyer just now, but then said it's a Venator. I'm pretty sure the term Star Destroyer comes from the Galactic Empire, not from the Republic. I could be wrong about that, because again, I'm not really that well versed in Star Wars vehicles. 
but I am pretty sure that. Hey, Grease, you busy? Huh. Well, I was trying to watch. The, you know, the, no, I'm not busy. Never busy. So, uh, you need something? I'm standing next to two crash ships. Looks like you weren't the only pilot who had trouble with the wind here. Whoa, 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 you're just realizing that? Where have you been? I mean, it doesn't get better than me. Yeah, okay. All I wanted to say was thanks. Uh, you know, you're, uh... You're, you're welcome. Okay, but I, I, you know, I gotta go. I, I gotta think, so gotta... See ya. So that's actually pretty cool what they just set up. Grease is watching something. He's really invested in... Uh, he's really invested in something and it's we're supposed to imply that he's like watching the sports game or whatever but uh, without getting too deep into spoilers we also know he took out a loan a pretty big one to afford his ship so my bet is that he's uh, he's out there watching the horse races so to speak these plants kind of remind me of Grease's fur. And that is actually setting up possibly an encounter we'll have here pretty soon, if the game lets us have it. Now, I don't know if it will, and the reason for that is uh, because we're, you know, we're not out of sequence. We're not sequence breaking to get here right now. But the game doesn't normally, I think, expect us to be here before we go back to the Mantis. So I'm not 100% on if it will allow us to trigger the encounter that we might be able to have here in the future. Uh, I guess this isn't operational right now. I don't really know what we need to do to get that operational. Phylac down there. There's a lot of stuff in here that we can't really, uh, not... Droid. They're watching us beat. Oh, fuck. See ya. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in the water we can't access right now, but... What'd you find? Some droids may have the ability to slice in and control probes' functions capable of being physically maneuvered and used as a weapon. The sinister Imperial probe droid, known as a probot, was an exploration and reconnaissance unit developed by the Galactic Empire. This lightly armored probe is equipped with six manipulator arms extending from a central pod and several uh, retractable sensor arms for gathering samples. High resolution receivers and sensors cover the central brain core, including motion, acoustic, sonic, and seismic sensors, a radiation meter, magnetic imager, and holo camera. It carries an atmosphere sensor and hovers on a repulsor lift generator capable of maneuvering most terrain. Its primary directive is recon and surveillance of potential threats to the Empire, including insurgents, fugitives, and specialized targets. They are basically R4 units uh, that float, which is kind of interesting, because R4 units also have all of those features. The only difference is that uh, R4 units can't, you know, float like they can. I thought it wasn't going to be able to get me as I was climbing up. What a fool I was. Oh, I sneezed. <sighs> So, 
as mentioned, Grease is watching something important. He's trying to see if he makes his money back on something. The wet cloth physics in this game are really great. I just love the way that they actually look. And he transitions to getting drier over time. I know in modern game engines and stuff, that's like a pretty simple thing to do. I know a lot of engines have like features for that sort of built in, but still cool. Just dropped like a rock. So that's a shortcut. And to get over there, what do we need to do? Do I just need to fight this guy to climb up? We can do that. Oof. Point acquired. That that means I'm officially skillful, by the way. I've got I've got mad skills. That's what the game just just told me. I'm not the one saying it, the game said it. So you can't be mad at me for saying that. Hyper shell poncho material. It looks exactly like the Braca one. I guess it doesn't have orange. Sure. We'll equip the hyper shell for now. It's so big and bulky. That's a stim crate up there. Damn it. I thought I was far enough away. I should have just turned around and run. It's okay. I mean, I'm like right there. I can just take the shortcut, but. All right. So as we make our way back, let's see what we can do. Make this a little bit easier on everyone. Just swim through, run through all the areas, go straight to the shortcut. Don't even need to worry about avoiding the Jotas, like on the first spot. We can literally just swim right over. Speedy swimmer. These Jedi really know how, know how to swim. You think Jedi had swimming pools to teach the younglings how to swim? I don't know why, but that is a really funny image to me. <laughs> Kettle says, toss a kid in the water and tell him <laughs> what stands in the way becomes the way. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's how the Mandalorians would do it. Oh 
my god. That's a clone trooper. The commander was killed by a lightsaber. A dead clone, but he wasn't killed in the crash. He appears to have been killed by a lightsaber. I wonder who... Hmm. This needs power. How do we get power on over here? What was that? Alright, um... So everything in this area needs power, I just don't know how to enable it yet. Guess we're gonna need to investigate the inside. Splish splash. I just realized the quote that I just said out loud. Uh, <laughs> it's a thing that I've been saying when playing video games for like years now, and I just say it when I like splash in puddles or in video games. I just realized that's a Bloodborne quote. Hey. Oh, we got a swoop skin. Ah, it's a swoop bike. That's cool. Maybe that's what Grease is watching. It wasn't. All right, well, I don't think we can get power back yet. At least I don't know how to. Because we also need it for this area back here and it doesn't seem like there's any way to interact with this. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any way to interact with this yet, so we'll need to find where we can go to turn on power. Rafa says, Splish Splash, I thought it was a song. Uh, it might be a song, but the, the, the way that I say it is absolutely a quote from Bloodborne. It's a, it's a quote from the patients in the nightmare. Um, and they say, splish, splash, drip, drop. Because they have uh, eyes in their brain and they see, uh, they see the water forming. But it's just like a little weird piece of like echolalia I picked up, I guess, at one point, and it just didn't didn't occur to me until just this moment that that's from Bloodborne. <laughs> All right, we'll rest here uh, and then zoom back through. The ice caves, because there is, I think, an area we can go to here, right? I guess I can't open my map when I'm on this. Yeah, we want to go over there. Come on. All right, I don't care about going there. We want to we want to go over to there. Watch the Falak chase me. 
it just follows on up, climbs completely vertically on the wall. Bye. So, there we go, we rested here, let's open up our map. Yeah, going up this way will get us closest, and I think we can actually go through the door here because we have the scomp link now. Slowly, slowly inching our way upwards. All right, uh, yes. Okay, so we go out here and then there's, there is a force push door out here that we just completely forgot about, I think. Yes, there is, there are two, okay. I don't think there's any scomp links in there because that would be weird. This is the other one. Okay. Remains of ancient wares crafted by the Zepho, perhaps used for rituals. Boom. And we're back up. Okay. Ah, oh, sick kickflip. Sweet Ollie, bro. All right, uh, is there anything else for me here yet? Ooh, there's one door in the temple, I think. Do I want to work my way all the way back there right now just to go through that one door? I mean, the answer is actually yes, but I don't know if it's quite worth it. Uh. much more there is for me to explore in Zepho at the moment other than that one door that I just missed. BD1, over here. Splinter says I can't wait to hear more of the who. I agree. Oh my god, these stupid things. BD1, stim. Go back to the temple real quick. Enemy, enemy here. Fuck off. That was silly. What the? Oh no. I died. Well, that's fine. This saves us a long time of, uh, backtracking and I think I just got a skill point a minute ago so we're not losing much experience if we uh, never go back to that point so that's fine all right which way do we want to go we want to go right here right this is the one yeah and that will lead us back to the temple I believe
Yeah, and then we can take the elevator down and get that last door that I missed that was right there. And then we can find our way back to the Mantis later. But I think we've pretty much picked up everything else we can possibly pick up at this moment. We have a skill point available that we can use, so. I keep thinking that we're at the point of the game where I need multiple skill points to level things up, but we don't. We have, we got plenty, plenty of skill points. Uh, recovers additional life when using a stim. Maximum life is increased. What do I want? Delay thrust. Waiting longer to press attack after Cal swings his lightsaber allows him to perform a special attack with increased range. Could be cool. Maximum force could increase. Repulse, that's kind of cool. Leaping slash. Uh, let's see. What do I think I need right now? Um, let's increase dash strike. Okay. Moving on. We're going to run back into the temple, try to get that one thing that we missed. So we've become intimately familiar with Zepho in just the past hour or two. It's been a little longer than that, about two and a half, three hours. Look at that. <laughs> That's cool. Just take our sweet time, just slowly moving. basically a teleport strike. Look at that. Stunter says, I wonder if the next game, Survivor, will build upon the skills you relearn in this game or if they'll magic up a reason why Cal has to start from scratch again. Um, I don't know if they'll Metroid him. I think, I think there will be a relatively expanded moveset from the start, but at the same time, you probably need to get special skills up. The other guess is what if they like have someone cut off his connection to the forest or something, you know, and that's how they Metroid him. It's unclear. I'm not really sure. All right. It's like literally right down there. Zoom. All right. We take a right through there and it's just inside that temple room okay Gotta get up there. Watch it just be like a crumbleable wall that I like don't need to screw around with. No, it probably has something cool behind it. Who can say? 
Ooh. Fun. All right, so this is worth it because it has a uh, what looks like a force essence right here. This was deliberately destroyed. You can still feel the hate of the act. Okay, I guess it didn't have a force essence point, but it did have lore, and lore is cool, so. The remains of ancient artifacts deliberately destroyed for some purpose. All right. Well, we made it basically out. We just gotta go back now to the elevator. All right. Um, where are we going? Not over there. It, right? Is that the right place? I don't remember. Yes. Okay. We're gonna go back out here. Oh wait. We drop off there. Shoot, I don't remember how to get out. Ah. Uh. Do we just go through the tomb? Is that it? I think that might be it, right? I wish I could homeward bone. That would be really convenient, but I don't think I can. that in my controller but I don't I don't know what that was okay it's the opposite direction from where we want to go so we went through here we got force push we did all the puzzles we found the tomb of Rocher or Alam and is that the elevator right there then? I don't remember. I guess I can die because I don't have any experience. So it wouldn't matter. Ah. But we'll be... We'll be diligent. No, I, yeah, I guess I'm pretty lost, so I'll just, I'll die so that I can respawn outside, and then we can go back to the Mantis. <laughs> it's okay, we didn't lose any experience there. I mean, I guess we lost what we lost when we died before this, but that's whatever. <laughs> 